Welcome to our Sims Free Play Advent Hints, Tips and Tutorials. Every day on the run up to Christmas I'm going to be sharing with you a little hint for Sims Free Play and help you to play the game better. Day 8 is about demolishing, deleting houses, why you may want to do it and what is the best way to do it so you don't kind of lose out on any of your items and things. The first way and the most quick and easy way to get rid of a house is first of all you have to have an empty house there can't be any pets or any people living in there so if you go to a house that looks like this where you have the green sign I have two pets in this house so I won't be able to demolish it you need to have no sims live in there and no pets if I click on it just to show you that there is a demolish house button as you can see there it is greyed out and it says can't demolish house when sims or pets are there but normally you could just click on that demolish house and you would delete all of the house and you would get a brand new lot I always recommend if you are gonna demolish the house firstly go into the house and delete all of the rooms if you just demolish the house you won't get back any of the items that you have got on that lot but if you go in go into the room section and just delete all the rooms everything that you have will go into your inventory or the furniture items and everything which if you spent LPs or SPs on some of the furniture, you definitely want to make sure that you do that. The only reason I can really say that you would have to demolish your house is if you want to get a new pre-built house. All the pre-built houses, or most of the pre-built houses, come with different fences and different kind of things around them. For example, the wedding lot, you get all of this extra little bit with the lot, which obviously is nice and is different from the normal standard lot. With the gingerbread house, you get this nice funky pavement and this nice kind of cake wall. So if you want to get those features, then obviously you're gonna have to demolish your house and build one of these pre-built designs and then go in afterwards and once it is built, delete all the rooms and build as you would normally. So this is my Halloween themed house. Obviously Halloween is over now, so if I wanted to get rid of this house but I still didn't want to, I wanted to keep the lot with the graveyard at the bottom of it and for next Halloween or just because I wanted to keep it and I wanted to do a different build I would just go into the rooms tab and delete the rooms one by one until I had an empty lot that I can then build on and that is all about deleting and demolishing houses thank you so much for watching oh did you see Santa whiz across the screen then Santa whizzed across the screen it is Christmas time for me it may not be when you're watching this video but it's Christmas time for me and Santa just flew across Simtown so I hope this has helped you out give the video a thumbs up if it did and I will see you tomorrow for another little tip on Sims Replay.